Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Specifically, the upcoming book, The Legend of Zelda Art and Artifacts, which isn't coming out in English until February. However, it's just come out in Japan, and towards the end of the book, there's interviews with several Nintendo artists who've worked on each of the games, including Breath of the Wild. And thanks to NintendoEverything.com, they've actually translated the section where they talked with the Skyward Sword artist. And while there isn't really anything major here, he did say that it was a conscious decision to prominently feature the bow, since even Eiji Ayanuma was really pushing how important the bow was this time around. Now we don't know the full range of why the bow is going to be so important, but it is one of the first weapons you get in the game, which of course sort of underlines its importance. The other thing is that again, they did make the decision to not show Link in his classic outfit, because they wanted to show how Link can wear different clothes and this was sort of their indication that that happened. And he actually mentions how it was kind of tricky picking out which weapon, which shield, which thing they should use, because there's so many choices, and he was like, do we emphasize this sword, do we emphasize this sword, or it could be this axe, or it could be these different kinds of shields. And it was an interesting little conundrum they were in to sort of find out which weapon should go together in order to promote this artwork of Link. It's nothing too major in the grand scheme of things, but it's pretty interesting details all around. So with all that said, thank you guys for watching, and of course, stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Breath of the Wild and other things gaming as well. Alright guys, bye.